Everyone stay calm. Everyone st I'm telling this to myself. Um, we have a ban list. <laughs> why, did you, why now? Why now? Not like this. <laughs> Dude, you're holding everyone hostage. Okay, I'm muting. I'm muting the I'm muting the thing. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Uh the ban list is here. The ban list is here. So let us talk about it. I have we're we're gonna go through one by one. Uh it's not a complete blind react because the first way I found out about it was this post right here. Uh and obviously I can see the cover cards already, but let's let's go through one by one. I don't wanna I don't wanna waste any time on any warm-ups, anything else. Uh, appreciate all the subs coming in. I'm not going to read every single sub right now because I, 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 I need to see this list. And also, I want to give a shout out to Konami because last week was very busy for me. So I didn't have a main channel video prepared for today or tomorrow. So um, yeah, shout out. Anyways, um, Forbidden, Link Karibo is the, is the cover of the thing. That's crazy. I never thought they would do it. I'm not saying that's not warranted. I think that's completely reasonable, actually. Um, considering how much it does exactly right now for the um, for the Snake Eye deck. I didn't think that was going to be the angle they hit it, but here we are. I'm not complaining about it, though. Um, Baron the Fleur is also crazy. I never thought this was going to happen, but I, I'm happy it did. I'm actually, I'm genuinely happy about Baron being gone. I, um, even though, you know, uh, she's been a mainstay in, in all my runic synchro versions or whatever, I'm, I'm glad to, to give that one up. And Borolod Savage is here as well. Literally, almost the trinity of what people have been asking for or what we've been discussing recently. Um, the only thing that's missing is Apollosa which I think is a little bit of a bummer because it, um, it still makes a lot of combo decks able to play around Nibiru. Um, however, I will say I think Baron is a better card than Appaloosa, so I think we'll take that. Um, I, I think the reason, the reason is probably uh, that Appaloosa is in Rarity Collection too, uh, which kind of makes sense. And Baron is kind of like... I know it kind of sucks because it just became affordable with Rarity Collection 1. I understand that. At the same time, that is probably the reason why they do it now. They didn't want to do it when it was still expensive. Now that it was affordable and cheap and all that kind of stuff, they banned it. Which I think, on the one hand, is kind of sad for the people that finally got it. On the other hand, it's, it's, it, this card, it, it needed to go. It's been a problem since its release, essentially. So I'm glad it, it happened. Uh, and then Summon Limit also got banned. Honestly, these bans are phenomenal so far. I don't know exactly what's all on Limited, Semi-Limited, Unlimited, but these bans are great. Literally, give me an Appaloosa on top of that, and, th and this is th the dream scenario, um, uh, unironically. Um, so right off the bat, this... This, this, I, I, I'm happy with this. I am happy with this. It doesn't have a direct fire hit yet. Uh, we're going to see if that's part of the other hits. Um, but it's, it still hits pure. I mean, pure snake eye. It just doesn't get to do what it does anymore. But we'll see. Um, let's just go, let's just go through everything before we talk about the state of whatever decks are in, right? Um, Okay, so the Kirin, the Kirin in the in the in the preview window, Arc Nemesis Proton. Okay, that's the that's the first bummer. I'm not a fan of that. Um, I'm not a fan of Protoss because it is just a a floodgate essentially. Um, I will say though, I I I see where they're coming from. I see where they are coming from with this one. I don't like this one. Um, but I don't think. It's worth complaining about if if that makes sense, you know. With like, I I'd gladly take summon limit banned and and give them one Protoss back for specifically like Sword Soul or whatever. Um, like I said, I'm not a fan of this card. I I, I wish it would have stayed banned, but yeah, it is what it is. I guess Sword Soul players are are happy about this, and I'm gonna be honest with you, Sword Soul kind of kind of needs the help. So whatever title. As, as happy as I am about this, this could have gone to three and it wouldn't have mattered. So, like, we've, we've already established this. Dragon rulers are not even that good anymore. So, this is just a matter of time until all the dragon rules go back to three. It's so hard to talk about one thing without ignoring the thing under it because there's so many things here. Colossus, 
same thing as with Protoss. Uh, I'm not a fan of Colossus as a card because it is a floodgate. At the same time, Thunder Dragon as an archetype hasn't done anything in the last couple years, pretty much. So you can't really argue that they can get something back. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. Like, Colossus is... Um, a floodgate so i i don't want to speak too positively about it but similar as with protoss um i have less of an issue with with a floodgate if it is only in one deck if it's like the specialty of this one deck right like a thunder dragon gets to do colossus or sword soul gets to do protoss right obviously you can maybe do it in some other decks but i look i can already see that there's an anti-spell down there and i, I can already tell you i would Every day of the week, I take ban summon limit and limit anti spell um, for limit Protoss and limit Colossus. That's a trade off that is good for the game. I'll take that one. Um, obviously, it'd be better if all of them were gone, but still, I'm just looking at the, you know, the trade off that we're being offered here. Or I mean, we're not being offered it. We're just being forced to take that trade off. I'll take it though. I I'm happy with that. Uh, Kirin back to one. It was a matter of time. It makes sense. Uh, I don't even know if this really helps Magispector that much. It definitely does help, but uh, I don't know if it makes it meta relevant, but I'm, I'm a fan of this. I think Kirin could have come back a while ago without being a problem. I actually think that, <laughs> funnily enough, a bounce is one of the most interactive things that a Pendulum deck does these days. You know, normally... Pendulum decks would be would be spamming Baron and, and Savage. They can't do that anymore. So I guess it's good that they gave them Kirin. And I'm, I'm going to be honest, playing against the bounce is, is fine these days. And the fact that it comes back every turn is also okay. The game has gotten a lot grindier. A lot of decks can keep up with that grind game. I'm, I'm happy Kirin is back to one. Uh, chicken game to one, I'm also a big fan of. Honestly, I've been waiting for this card to come back. Uh, it's at three in Master Duel. It doesn't do anything. Upstart is at three. It doesn't do anything. The fact that Chicken Game is a field spell makes it so that you can potentially pair it with like Ancient Fairy Dragon or whatever. Which, but in any, in any, like I think that's cool. I think that'd be a cool way to use the card. Um, so I think one Chicken Game is kind of like a sweet spot for it because it makes it so you have like a, you can play it as like a secondary target for terraforming. You can play it to make your Ancient Fairy life because Ancient Fairy can't search a different, uh, can't search the same field spell anymore. So you need a second field spell for it. I, th I think that's cool. I think these sort of interactions are, are why Chicken Game should probably be, I'm, I'm happy with it being exactly at one. So that's a, that's a W in my book. Uh, and then Anti-Spell Limited, honestly... It's been a long time coming. I it, Nothing makes me happier so far than seeing Summon Limit and Anti-Spell. Even the Baron one, um, I'm not as happy as seeing these Floodgates finally getting what they deserve. Uh, it's super, super dope. Um, once again, this one doesn't have a single fire hit. So uh, we, we have to see about that. Okay, we only have two semi-limits. We have Pearly Delicious Memory going from one to two, which is a significant boost to Pearly. Um, that's interesting. I believe, if anything, that is fine. I don't have an issue with that. I mean, Pearly still remains this... Like, I, I'm a fan of Pearly's playstyle, and I think it does deserve a little bit of help from the ban list. So in that, in that regard, I'm happy with this. Um, on the other hand, I still, I'm still not a fan of what the goal of Pearly is, right? I'm not a fan of X Purely Noir as the boss monster of the archetype. So that's always kind of like a, a little bit of a... I don't know, it, it's a little bit of a of a downside for me whenever Pearly becomes relevant, but I think that's fine. I think uh I don't I don't see Pearly outperforming some of the modern decks. I think that's okay. Uh Armageddon Knight semi-limited is also completely fine. We don't have to talk about that for too long. Um that's fine. I honestly don't have an issue with Armageddon Knight. I think that card could even be at three. I think that's okay. Um without I sold, I don't even know if it starts any crazy one card combos these days. I think that's fine. Uh, okay. Oh, also, by the way, this means um, no fire hits outside of the extra deck. We'll talk about that in a second. Let me finish the thing. Uh, Malicious Unlimited. Okay, we're going for another round. Malicious Unlimited is very interesting. That is very strong and could be re very relevant. I don't know where exactly, but Malicious, mind you, has already seen a decent amount of play at two. Um... And I think three, I mean, like, I don't know, making Beatrice with it or whatever, that's great. Like, Tierlaments definitely appreciates that. Maybe some other decks do too. I mean, heroes probably appreciate that as well. That's 
Good. I mean, I'm not against it, though. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm a fan of Malicious. I like it. I think it was perfectly fine at two. We'll see if three becomes an issue. Let's 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 phrase it like that. Let's let's see if three becomes an issue. I think three Malicious and one. Uh, what's the other guy called? The not the Nier. Um, is it the Nier? The guy that has synergy with Malicious? It is the Nier. It is the Nier. Okay. Yeah. Um, three Malicious and the Nier is an interesting package. We'll see. Uh, Harp Horror to three. Irrelevant, honestly. I mean, if anything, good change. Uh, Orcus can definitely need the help. Terra top to three, fine. Um, also okay. And then the big one down here, we get the third engage. I've been saying this. I've been saying this. I wanted this. Um, there, the copy pastas are already here in all sort of languages. Okay. <laughs> engage to three is um is good. I I think that's good. I think pure sky striker can need the help. And honestly, the um, the Sky Striker package that I, for example, I played this in Snake Eyes um, was a very fun experience to me because the Sky Striker spells are super interactive and all that kind of stuff. I've, I've been enjoying um, seeing decks with the Sky Striker package being utilized. And I think with three engaged, that is more likely to be a good way to approach the game. You know, like a, any deck that plays like Board Breakers, uh, like Talents Thrust, Engage, it's pretty cool. I like that kind of stuff. So I'm happy to see Engage back to three. And Pure Sky Striker, even with three Engage, I don't think is going to be a problem. Um, so that is cool in my book. Um, dude, that was a lot to process. That's a lot of changes. Let me breathe for a moment and think about what I think of this. Now, my first, my, 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 I have two, two thoughts, two thoughts. My first thought is that almost, I'm, I'm a fan of almost every single hit here. Um, outside of Colossus and Protoss, maybe, I am a fan of every, every single thing they did here. There is nothing here where I'm like, I disagree with this change very hard. Like there's, the, uh, like I said, outside of maybe Protoss and Colossus, and even those two, I don't have a big issue with. Um, everything else is a card moving in the right direction, and that's always a good thing. Um, like Link Karibo, fine ban. Bar Baron, good ban. Savage, good ban. Summon limit, phenomenal ban. Um, anti spell, phenomenal limit. Bringing back all these other guys is fine. I'm a fan of Chicken Game. I'm a fan of Kirin. Title should go to three. Colossus and Protoss could have stayed banned, but okay. Uh, Armageddon and Delicious Memory are cards moving in the right direction. And all these unbans I'm also a fan of. So those, those things being said, I'm a fan of these changes. Um, and I think the, the, all of these are good for the game. However, I can't help but notice that there is no ch change to the snake eye core whatsoever, right? Um, the question that remains to be seen is how important is it that they basically take away a lot of the fundamentals from their extra deck, right? Like, no Baron, no Savage, no Link Karibo. We're gonna have to wait and see how much that changes for fire decks. Um, it doesn't change as much right off the bat for Snake Eye Fire King, right? Snake Eye Fire King only loses Link Karibo, literally, right? And that is scary, right? That is scary. I, that, that's the thing. That's the thing. If, if this list also hit Appalooza, then basically any combo deck would have probably died to Nibiru almost every time, right? The fact that we still have Appalooza means that we have to go and um, we have to go ahead and always just make an Appalooza line now, right? Which it could be impactful still because like, I mean, Baron and Savage were part of a lot of the lines for a good reason, right? Um, but Appalooza is still not that hard to make, right? Especially with the with the Snake Eye field spell in, in rotation. Like, you just go Poplar for the field spell, and then you just do your thing uh, and make Apple at some point. If they nib you before, you get the field spell to summon out, all that stuff, right? I, I'm not sure if this is going to be enough. My prediction is that Fire is still going to be the best deck. Um, 
it's going to be it, it's going to allow more counterplay though um because let me tell you no matter what version of fire you play now right you play snake eye fire king or maybe even pure snake eye or another version of snake eye you simply cannot to my knowledge at this point in time you cannot make omni negates anymore right you can't make baron or savage you can make appalooza you can make all that kind of stuff you can make monster negates but you can't do anything about talents for example right like if think of it this way right if people still play nibiru and everyone is forced to summon like appalooza uh Triple Tactics Talents is going to break those boards almost every time, right? Like, the, 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 the deck is going to be very weak to board breakers, right? Um, maybe you can probably find a way to make, um, to make Omni Negate somehow, like Herald of the Arclight or whatever, right? Maybe you can do something, um, but those lines are going to be way different than what you know, right? You, you, yeah, we're going to have to wait and see. We are going to wait, have to wait and see. I, I will say, don't underestimate the impact that a Baron and Savage ban has on the game, right? Like, the, the, the fact that you can now basically ba play Board Breakers against every variation of Fire King, uh, Snake Eyes rather, is potentially very, very impactful. And that does make it a lot more fun. Um, like, I, I, I'm just now remembering when I was playing, I was playing a, uh, a Snake Eye deck with board breakers at my uh, a couple of weeks ago at a regional where I didn't play Baron, I didn't play Savage, I was just going for like normal lines and playing a lot of board breakers. Those games were a lot of fun. I actually enjoyed that a lot. And if my opponents are forced to do the same, I think that's going to be cool. I think the fact that they enabled board breakers again because Baron and Savage are gone is cool. Um so I honestly overall I think it's a I think it's a good list. I think I'm happy. I'm happy. Um I'm looking forward to to see what this what this does to the game. Um I I also noticed people in chat are saying that it's missing um it's missing gimmick puppet or sanctifier. That is true. That is sad. I would have liked to see that. I would have liked to see them get rid of gimmick puppet. That would be cool. Um outside of that I mean, yeah, a small, a small hit to the Snake Eye deck itself would have been nice. Like, if they would have, I don't know, limited Wanted or limited Snake Eye Ash. Literally, my, 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 my final take is if they had banned Sanctifier and limited Snake Eye Ash or Wanted, this would have been perfect. This would have literally been perfect. I would have sat here and had nothing to criticize. Um... And Apple, yeah, Apple, Apple was Apple was gonna be a uh, wishful thinking anyways, though, because it gets it still is that, uh, like out for the Rarity Collection two reprint, right? Pro Protoss is cringe. Protoss is cringe. Protoss is cringe, and Colossus is cringe too. However, you guys overestimate how relevant these cards are gonna be. I don't think you will see them. That's the thing. Um, I don't think you will see them very often. Uh and once again, once again, the ban list isn't perfect, but the way I like to look at it, the way I like to look at it is I, I like to evaluate. It's, it's a trade-off, essentially. And if you had asked me yesterday, would you take a Baron, Savage, Link, Karibo, and Summon Limit ban and an Anti-Spell Limit in exchange for Colossus and Protoss? The answer is yes, every single day of the week. Every single day of the week, I would take that trade. Nets with the correct take. They banned Link Karibo, Dino best deck. <laughs> what? <laughs> Anyways. Um, yeah, no, this, uh, this one caught me really off guard because it's, it's kind of late. We were busy. We, had, we have guests over. It's been it's been kind of out of nowhere. Um, I think it's good though, guys. I I think it's good. I'm a fan of it. I'm a fan. I like it. I think uh, I think a small tweaks here and there would have been healthy. Um, I would have liked to see a main deck hit to Snake Eyes. I would have liked to see Sanctifier go. Obviously, there's always something. There's always something like hey, maybe uh maybe you could say hey, Shifter should have been here. Yes, you're right. Shifter should have been here. Um. 
Apple. Yeah, Apple probably should have been here from a pure uh from a pure game design perspective. Apple should have been here, right? Uh I agree, but um overall, I think I'll take it. I'll take it. I will take it. I'm happy. So let me know what you think, whether you're watching this live right now or whether you're watching this on YouTube, because this is definitely going to be a YouTube video. Let me know what you think. Let me know if this makes you want to try anything. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm just happy that like Baron is gone. Literally, Baron being gone is, is a big deal for me. Summon limit and anti-spell are just perfect uh, hits. So I'm really, really happy. Is this... is the, Okay, this one is in effect. Um, okay, this is weird. This thing has two effective dates. Effective from April 15th for North and Latin America. Effective from April 22nd for EU, ME, Africa, and Oceania. So this is before YCS rally, right? I didn't want it to be in effect for Weiss for... Okay, hold up. Please note, our decision to postpone the effective prom date for the new Forbidden and Limited list in our regions was to give our players some more time to update their decks before the next major event, in this case, the French Open. Thank you for your understanding. Yo, is that communication? Is that, is that communication from Konami? Am I dreaming? That's crazy. That's so nice. <laughs> Thanks for letting us know. I mean, that makes sense. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, keep, keep, keep doing, keep giving us little things like this. Give us little things of communication. Give us like a, yo, we did this because that, you know, that's cool. We like, we appreciate that. Okay. Um, this is going to be an effect for YCS rally. I'm so, I'm, I'm like twice as hyped to commentate and watch YCS rally. Now we'll be doing that on stream, obviously. Um, super, super hyped for all of this. Um, I, I'll say this. I think, I think the way it's going to pan out, the way it's going to pan out is Snake Eyes are still going to be played a lot and they're still going to be very strong, specifically, probably Fire King Snake Eye. However, the Fire King Snake Eye deck has a lot of counterplay, a lot more counterplay than the, the pure Snake Eye deck, right? And so I think we're going to see two camps of people, people that are going to be still playing the Fire deck because a lot of the combos are still possible, even without Link Karibo. Um, and then we're going to see people who are going to try to exploit the fact that pretty much everyone is going to be playing Fire King Snake Eye or definitely versions of Snake Eye that can't make Omni negates, right? So you can you can count on your talents resolving. Like if they have to make Apple, you just take the Apple. Uh, if you because you have three talents and three thrust, uh, you can even lead them. Maybe that's still that's still probably not that great, but you can. Um, you don't have to worry about Baron or Savage, right? That was the biggest thing I was worried about when I was playing Board Breakers. You know, I can soul release the Fire King deck with no with no no trouble. You know, you can magical spring the Fire King deck. I think there's a lot more counterplay, and I think that's a good way to do it if they don't want to hit the Snake Eye cards yet because they're super expensive, they're super new, right? They don't want to hit any of the Fire King cards, the the, the Snake Eye cards directly, right? At least make it so there's more counterplay. That's phenomenal, right? That's a good decision if they want to not touch any Snake Eye cards. So, guys, once again, let me know what you think. I'm very uh, interested in what your guys' opinion is, right? And don't just hit me with a, hey, where is that card, right? Don't be a little bit more nuanced than that, right? Give me some like, hey, this is good or this is bad because like sophisticated reasoning not just like hey they didn't hit uh Apollosa. this list is trash like come on like yes there's stuff is missing i'm not saying that nothing is missing i'm not saying it's perfect i'm just saying like there's more to it than just like they didn't hit this one card therefore it's trash right um yeah <laughs> chat cannot be nuanced i mean yeah why no sp semi limit i mean yeah this is uh the, maybe the one thing that was really missing is the SP semi limit. It's the third SP that really gets you, right? <laughs> Why not hit Jet? Um, you could have hit Jet, and that would have also been okay. 
However, I think Baron is not only a problem in Snake Eye, right? Like, think of what this does to some other decks, right? Like, for example, without Baron, um, I believe Super Heavy Samurai would have had a much harder time to play around Nibiru, as an example, right? Like, that would have been a bigger problem for the deck uh, than it ever was, because that card existed. Menadium makes a Baron before 5. It, I don't think Menadium makes an easy Apple before 5 and still combos after like that is not that simple it's like apoloza requires more investment to make before uh, five summons than uh, than a baron right and so like nibiru is going to be a big deal for combo decks now as it should be like certain types of combo decks should lose if the opponent has nibiru that should be the risk that you take when you play like monadium in my opinion right like if if you play something like Monadium that is so focused on comboing so crazy when you go first, they should lose to something like Nibiru. That's the point of Nibiru. Um, I wonder what OCG thinks of this list. OCG probably thinks, um, how am I going to play around Nibiru now with my combo deck? I want a solitaire for 10 minutes. Um, and also, where the hell is Maxi? <laughs> That's what they think. But it's a good thing that we are not the OCG. <laughs> anyways guys this was my uh this was my initial reaction uh i appreciate you all for coming through obviously appreciate all the subs and all that i know i know you're all hyped but i i i was kind of busy before this i was kind of caught off guard by this so i'm gonna head off i hope you enjoyed this this prime this 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 instant reaction and uh yeah i mean you guys have a wonderful rest of your of your week